Hello, I'm uh, Christian and uh, I will guide you during this very first uh, sneak peek video of our new and exciting product UML for ActionScript and Flex or shortly UML for AS. UML for AS is a developer friendly UML modeling tool with a bidirectional ActionScript code synchronization support. Developer friendly means it's easy to use, it's productive and it fits easily within the development workflow. In this uh, video, I will show you some of the basic features of uh, UML4AS. I will import an existing uh, ActionScript project. I will uh, create a new diagram. I will make some uh, changes in the model, some changes in the code, and see how the tool reacts. So let's get started. I have uh, an ActionScript project with uh, packages and uh, action script source files that I want to import into this new uh, UML4S model file. There are uh, two steps. First, to create a new source directory and second one, to save the model. And that's it. We have the model and code in sync. So let's take an example. The service locator class and its uh, corresponding model element. Documentation, attributes, operations. I would like to create a new diagram. So uh, I'm creating first a new package that uh, would uh, help to keep my diagrams organized. I'm creating the diagram itself. And I am selecting uh, some uh, classes that I want to drag and drop on uh, this uh, newly created diagram. Let's uh, do a little bit of uh, layout. Display the missing relations. And next step to create some uh, new model elements. I'm uh, creating a new attribute and a new operation. Let's add uh, some uh, documentation for them as well. Okay, please uh, notice the colored markers next to the element uh, icons. Uh, they uh, represent the synchronization status. Green means uh, it's uh, in sync with the code. Uh, red means that the element is not synchronized with the code. Yellow means that the element itself is in sync, but its uh, children are not, one of them or several. After synchronization, everything turns green. Let's look at the class, the, at, the, at the source file. We have the attribute and the operation that have been uh, generated. I'd like to modify them a little bit. For example, change the comment, change the visibility for the attribute, and uh, change the signature of the method by adding a new parameter of type uh, string. I saved and the uh, model is synchronized. Please uh, look at the attribute with its documentation and its uh, visibility. It's protected, it was private. And a new signature for the method. I'll stop here for this video. As a short recap, I did the following. I uh, imported an existing action script project. I made a class diagram. I made some changes in the model. I made some changes in the code. And uh, UML for action script and flex successfully synchronized the model on the code. More uh, videos will follow this one and uh, will describe other interesting features of uh, UML for AS. The product itself will be ready soon, so you can uh, play with it and tell us what you think about it. Meanwhile, please uh, take a look at our website, discuss uh, on the forum, or follow us on Twitter for more uh, UML for Action Script and Flex updates. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.